Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mall Assault, and as you saw on my intro titles, this is the first episode of T-Rex Toy Review, and the first T-Rex we're reviewing is from Japan, Sci-Fi Rovotech, and this is the Lost World Jurassic Park T-Rex. You can see it says the Lost World right there, and Sci-Fi Series number 29 out of the... Sci-Fi Ro Robotech. Now, to those who don't know Robotech, it's a company, a toy series. Well, I guess not toy, but model issued by Kyoto in Japan, and they've been mostly been doing anime characters. But for the last two years now, they've been doing sci-fi characters like Iron Man, Predator, Alien, Captain Jack Sparrow, Angiris. And as you can see here, Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park The Lost World, one of my favorite movies of all time. You can see this is a beautiful cover of the picture of the product. Here's about what Robotech is. As you can see there, it's just those little things that make it possible. Then here's more on it. But I would like to read you all this, but it's in Japanese. And I do not read Japanese. So maybe someone else who does a review can maybe explain what this says in Japanese. A little side box. And now let's open this thing. See it has a cover and it says see-through and you can see the T-Rex. Look how great. There's this diorama and extra feet is running feet. Cover over there's feet, some trees. Hope this light is not affecting your scene, but, I'll ha I ha but I ordered another T-Rex, so I will have that one out because I ordered two, thanks to Japan Hobby, that had an early bird discount. Then they have another cover, more on about the movie, as pictures of it, and a little story about it, and unfortunately it's all in Japanese, and I don't read Japanese, not as good as I used to. So, yep, now, sorry, okay, let me show you the product, and here's my other Tyrannosaurus that, uh, that is not in the box, you can see how greatly small he is comparing to my big hands. You can hear the click. That is the Robotech parts that are moving in him. That was just his head. His head can move to side to side. It cannot do 360, but it can do that much. There's also a head of Robotech in his neck. It has the Robotechs. And, even, and this T Rex, unlike many T Rexes, it has possible arms too so I mostly bought this T-Rex because it'll be great in stop-motion videos even though he's not the biggest T-Rex but he is great and you can see he's on his diorama platform in his natural habitat on the Costa Rica islands with cyclads palm trees and here what this it has a little it says T-Rex lost world even though it's not real yep, there it is the Lost World 1997 is I'm gonna zoom in or I'm just gonna bring the T-Rex closer to you to see how greatly detailed this guy is there you go there's more better focus look how great he is even his environment is greatly detailed his trees also have Robotech parts to both but they're not really clickable T-Rex can open his mouth really wide like a real T-Rex could. Alright, I'm going to take him off his diagram to show you the T-Rex off it because it can be off its diagram. It doesn't need this really, but if you want to keep you know for show piece, then uh, don't worry. Um, I can put these feet back on right on him 
which I'm gonna do right now. And here's the little preview of the Robotech. It's just this thing that does up and down on the poses for it. Let me put it back on. Yep, there's one feet. And there's the other foot. And you can see how detailed the foot under feet are and its underbelly of this T-Rex. Really detailed. This is this is really great. They do great jobs on these Robotech characters. And see here, and I'll show you on the platform. If you can see, he has foot, uh, footprints where the T-Rex can put his feet on, so you know where to put this T-Rex on. Okay, enough about the diorama. Well, get to the main pro thing, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. In the first game, standable. He is, he can't stand by himself, but that's if you get his feet right. Unfortunately, he doesn't want to. Okay, I'm just going to keep him in this classic T-Rex pose. There we go. And move the tripod down a little bit. There we go. His tail has a wire in it so it can you can bend it any way you want it. It also has a Robotech to go this way or that way. Feet are really posable. Like all joints. And if you saw what I had earlier that was in the box, T-Rex has closed toes. These closed toes are for, if possible, he can look like he's running, which I'm going to do right now. Take this foot off. And then put on his foot. Oops. Which doesn't want to go in there. Um, sometimes these Robotech things don't want to go into the holes easy. I know like you can see the Robos, but anyway, this is real great. You can see now that well, the T-Rex can't really stand on one foot. But you can see if you have pictures, you can have the T-Rex like one foot up. It look like he's running after any dinosaurs or something like that and uh, I'll show you a real great example now let me try to get this T-Rex on his foot okay just one more second and I'm back and with a Imantosaurus from Safari and see like this pose if I have the T-Rex on, on his diagram or his real still I could have this T-Rex look like he's gonna kill this Imantosaurus for his meal. But that will have to wait. He, he has these possible feet for each, for each foot on him. I'm sure again the great detail on this Tyrannosaurus. Now the first picture I saw of Robo T-Rex was really brighter so the color they changed the color screen different so maybe this is the female T-Rex if they decide to release another one in those brighter colors to look like the male which will be really cool I would like to have so I can have the mom Rex and the dad Rex and now I'm gonna show you the size comparison after I get his running feet off and put it back on this standable feet which always gives me a fight now this T-Rex if you can tell is maybe not the biggest T-Rex that I wish he was but he is still a great figure to have in your collection if you're a Jurassic Park fan, a dinosaur fan, or a Robotech fan and let me show you who, how big he is to the other ones here he is uh, to Angiris and Jason and the Argonauts, Children of the Night, a soldier, or just simply a skeleton from Ray Harryhausen's 
Jason and the Argonauts, if you remember that film. As you can see, T-Rex is not the biggest guy out of this, all these Robotech sci-fi characters I have. These are the only two sci-fi ones I have. I too have three other animes, no four, of the Evangelion. But if you like this T-Rex, then you should get him if you're a Jurassic Park or a T-Rex fan or a Robotech or you just want a really nice T-Rex to have on your desk or anything. And this guy is the one to have. Alright, that's enough about me. You can go online. You can't find these in stores. You gotta go like Big, Big Bad Toy Store, Japan Hobby, or on eBay to find this guy. So, he's maybe around 50 or 60 bucks, but I got this guy for 35 bucks just on an early bird deal on Hobby Link Japan. So, that's enough about me. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Until then, peace out.